This is news from here on GH1 Television. Nana Ama Akwa is standing by uh, with some of your comments on social media about uh, the reopening of schools from yesterday. Nalama, good afternoon. Afternoon, Lantam. Some, not all, unfortunately. <laughs> but Parliament and teacher unions raised concerns over what the um, minister said. So what do you make of the justification of the minister? Let's hear from you. Robbie says, these people are clearly not thinking about Ghanaians. Jeff thinks it's a mismanagement of power. Um, Kwansi says, two weeks, what will they learn? It's a waste of time, though. Ghana is a village in Africa. When you fight for free SHS policy without inquiring about what it entails, these are the end results. The next comment, playing with the Ghana, Ghanaian education system like chess, no dignity in schooling in Ghana, cry again. Hey, on mind being crying. Curriculum being influenced by politicians. Where are these so-called NAGRAT, NAT, or GES? Are these bodies really working? So these leaders expect the next generation to take this country serious. Come on. We move on down for Instagram. Lexis says it makes sense. Ghanaians talk too much. Criticize everything in this country. Everyone in Ghana has knowledge in all sectors is criticized, but have no knowledge to improve themselves. Erama adds, his explanation is justified and makes sense, except I can't actually claim less than one month should be considered as a term. Um, we also have here, Pam Dazzles. Um, I don't understand why we must return to the pre-COVID calendar. And in such haste, who is after us? Transitional calendar students used only five months to complete Form 1, and they are staying home again until March to begin Form 2, whilst their counterparts in single-track schools did a full academic year and are back in school in November to do Form 2. When we move over to Facebook, Entry says, as we are thinking about better education system, his focus is on the academic calendar. The foundation is weak. Stop building upon it and structure it well. Philip says they will soon be shown the exit in 2024. Our next comment, per this calendar, we are not returning to pre-COVID times. The response is that the calendar ends on November 15, 2024, so I can't think far for his reason. Benjamin also says, hey, people are chopping my new sea cheeks. <laughs> when we go over to X, Sable says, if, this, if the purpose is for the system to return to pre-COVID times, does that mean from the 4th to the 21st will be counted as a full term, he's asking? Or am I missing something? Edu says it makes sense. It's the way to go. Pa parents were given their heads up in August. The next comment, how could 17 days of being in school revert to the academic calendar when pre-COVID term was about three months? How? Edu Trim, he's asking. Kojo says, if the pre-COVID calendar is best for Ghana, why don't we sacrifice to go back to it? Also, if this is the best means to achieve the reset, then let's go for it. We have Richie asking, did he school here in Ghana? I've been told, yes, he did. He says, if they want us to return to pre-COVID time, then what this means is that they should forego the first term, which is September to December, and start from second term, which is January to April, and continue with third term in May to July. Then we can start first term from September 2024, and the system will be back to its default. Vinny adds, hmm, Ghana education system, basa, like science compulsory questions. <laughs> then we have Nelson, who adds, or asks, does it mean we don't have wise people leading any sector in Ghana? A, Isaac simply says it is very insensitive. Wilfred says, very much in place. Good decision. Most parents were aware and had a long time to prepare. We have Sumaila who says, how is two weeks in school going to change the calendar? The current calendar for SHS follows no order. Schools vacate and resume when the ministry sees fit. The minister should tell us which old calendar had schools vacating in November because form twos and threes are currently at home. Well, this is what we have for you right now. Continue to send us your messages on Instagram, on Facebook and on Twitter. Let's hope that these two weeks that the children are in, they will learn something so that when they come back in January, they will be very prepared for the new time ahead. My name is Anama Aqualanta. I'm back to you.